Good afternoon, friends and family, and my special friends from the Discovery Center, where I am sitting right now in a wonderful place filled with birds and animals and hummingbirds and bees. I like these kind of bees because they're painted. I bet you like the same. Once again, I'm happy to say that I'd like to share with you my Ladybug Girl and Bug Squad book. It's a book that I read to my grandchildren, who are now 14 and 12, and they enjoyed it immensely. It's about a little girl named Lulu who wanted to have a play date with her buddies. And when they came over, all of them being part of the Bug Squad, she seemed to want to be the leader. And we'll see how that worked out. Once again, I'm Nikki Cordial reading to you about the Ladybug Girl and Bug Squad. I can't wait for everyone to get here, yells Lulu. It is the first official Bug Squad play date, and Ladybug Girl, here I am, knows it's going to be just perfect. I know exactly the way I want everything to be, Lulu tells her mommy. Well, her mommy says, I hope it works out the way you want it to, Bugaboo. Just then, Sam comes bounding through the door. Bumblebee boy is here, he shouts. Next, Marley, dressed up as Dragonfly Girl, skips in with Kiki in her Butterfly Girl costume. Everyone twirls around and shows off their wings and capes. The Bug Squad is a team again, Lulu says. What should we play, asks Sam. Look at that. There's Bumblebee boy. Butterfly, or I'm sorry, <laughs> Ladybug Girl, Lulu, the head of the group. We've got Dragonfly Girl, and we have Bumble Butterfly Girl. <laughs> oh, I'm just awful. Here we are. Just then, Sam comes bounding through the door. Bumblebee Boy is here, he shouts. Next, Marley, dressed up as Dragonfly Girl, skips in. And in skips Kiki in her butterfly girl costume. Everyone twirls around and shows off their wings and capes. The bug squad is here again, Lulu says. What should we play? Bug squad, of course, says Lulu. Let's go to the bug squad base. They pass Lulu's brother on their way out. He doesn't like bugs, Lulu says. Lulu leads the group to a circle of tall pine trees in her yard. What a beautiful yard she has. This is it, says Lulu. The low hanging branches and the soft carpet of pine needles make a perfect hideout. I like it, says Sam. It smells good, says Marley. They set up their base. Bumblebee Boy and Dragonfly Girl zoom off to collect sticks to defend the bug squad from bad guys. Let's go pick flowers to make it pretty, says Butterfly Girl. Ladybug Girl says, Bingo, you stay here and guard the fort. When the base is ready, it looks even better than Lulu hoped. Now we need a password to get into our secret hideout, she tells the bug squad. And I know just what it should be. Ladybug, rainbow, unicorn. Sam wrinkles his nose. What about bingo for a password, suggests Marley. Yeah, bingo, everyone yells. Lulu agrees. Nah, that is a good password. Now what should we do, asks Kiki. They're getting along so nicely. It's time to show off our powers, decides Lulu. Well, I'll go first, says Marley. Dragonfly girl breathes fire, fire so I can protect us. Swirling her flame around, Marley adds, and I can toast marshmallows. Sam steps forward. Bumblebee Boy is as fast as lightning and will sting anyone who tries to get us. Ooh. Did you know that Butterfly Girl has smart powers, Mrs. Kiki? Butterfly Girl knows that the sun is really a star, and I can even spell elephant. E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T. 
What a smarty. My turn, says Lulu. Ladybug girl has lots of powers. I can fly, I'm super strong, I can save ants, and I can even do a cartwheel. Her try is a little bit wobbly. Lulu leaps to her feet and says, follow me, let's play. We can't touch the ground because it's hot lava. Ooh, have you imagined things like that when you played outside? I know I have. They safely cross across the lava, but now an army of giants bars their way. Luckily, they're asleep, and the bug squad carefully tiptoes past them. Quietly, quietly. We made it, says Lulu. This is the best play day ever. She thinks that she runs and jumps with Bingo and her friends. Everything is going just how she wanted it to. They're flying and laughing when Lulu's mommy calls. It's painting time. It's one of my most favorite times. At the picnic table, they find a pile of smooth rocks, a stack of paper, and jars filled with bright paint. Now it's time to make Bug Squad pictures, announces Lulu. Lulu, of course, paints her rock red with black polka dots. She is very pleased with how it turns out. Maybe it should even be in a museum, like the Discovery Center, maybe. Kiki paints her rock purple. This is Pluto. Marley is painting a pretty dragon playing soccer. Sam is painting a picture of a robot fighting a giant squid. Oh, my. No one paints Bug Squad pictures except for Lulu. Hey, you guys were supposed to... Lulu starts, but then Mommy calls with a platter of, hmm, I wonder what she's got. A platter filled with beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Mama sets the cupcakes on the table and lights the candles. Now, says Lulu, when I count to three, we all have to blow out our candles at the very same time. Lulu counts one, two, three, and blows out her candle. Then she sees Kiki's candle still flickering. Lulu leans over and blows out Kiki's candle too. <sighs> Lulu takes a big bite of her cupcake and notices that Kiki hasn't even picked hers up. Well, what's wrong, Kiki? Lulu asks. You blew out my candle, Kiki shouts. But I was just trying to help you, explains Lulu. You didn't blow out your candle at the right time. I didn't have to do it your way. I was making a wish, and you ruined everything, yells Kiki. Lulu's stomach feels funny. She didn't mean to hurt Kiki's feelings. She never meant or wanted to that in a million years. It's just that she was having so much fun that she didn't think twice when she blew out Kiki's candle. Lulu just wanted things to be the way she had imagined them. Now that she sees Kiki is upset, Lulu wants her friend to know how sorry she feels. But what if Kiki doesn't understand? Then Lulu remembers that Ladybug Girl never runs away when things get hard. Ladybug Girl knows what she must do. Wonder what that will be. Ladybug Girl takes a deep breath and says, Kiki, I'm sorry I blew out your candle. Ladybug Girl adds, how about if we ask my mom to light yours again? Well... Okay, agrees Kiki. When the candle is lit, Lady Bird, Lady Pug Girl says, You can blow out your candle now, Kiki, and make a wish. I mean, if you want to. I do, says Butterfly Girl. Let's blow out the candle together. When they finish their cupcakes, they decide it's time for a very important secret Bug Squad mission. There's a mean alien in the house, says Ladybug Girl, and we have to find out what he's up to. Who do you think that might be? Let's find out.
Big Brother. The end.